Hello again, my friends, and welcome back to another Leal Legacy Classic Cartoon Commentary. Today, we're hanging out with the one and only of iWorks and watching a little something from his comic color series, The Brave Tin Soldier from 1934, released April 7th, 1934, to be precise, directed by Ub iWorks, of course. Seamus Colhane and Al Eugester? E-U-G-S-T-E-R? Hmm. I, ooh. <laughs> you know I love a song. <laughs> and especially a song that narrates what's going on. Oh, look at that. Don't you wish it was that easy to paint things? Whoa! Careful, Mr. Yeah, careful. <laughs> now you gone and done it. <laughs> I, I'm a little speechless by how, how, just the song is the narration. Oh, look, you broke the toy soldier's leg. Now he's in the trash. Hey, it's Coco the clown. Doesn't that look like Coco? Another tin soldier. This guy makes a lot of tin soldiers, huh? Oh no. Yeah, product product of its time. Let's just keep that in mind. Spitting everywhere. Hey, I know them. Laurel and Hardy. Man, doing caricatures of celebrities of the day was like the way to go, huh? A figure eight train track. That was pretty sweet. And there's old, there's old Limpy, the tin soldier. Is that insensitive? I guess it's not really a limp. It's more of a hop, huh? No, here we go. If he uses that as a crutch, it'll be a limp. There we go. No, it's still not a limp. Is it? What? What constitutes a limp? Wow, those toys are a bunch of jerks. Yeah, it's all right, buddy. It's not your fault. I agree. Why don't you give him a hug or something? He needs a little love. Oh, he's in love. A E F C R S T X P. I wonder what. Are they, yeah, what's that gonna spell? Nuts. <laughs> ah, nuts. Porton soldier, I, I think he's he's lucking out. He caught the eye of the the beautiful ballerina toy. I mean, you know, let's keep things in perspective here. Are those penguins pulling a carriage? What are those things? Mice? <laughs> so is the king the carriage? I couldn't really understand what was going on there. Yeah, those are mice, huh? Oh, so he does bend over and become a carriage or something. Weird. Ooh, scram. Hit. Wait, you have a gun. You have a weapon, Tinny. That's what we're going to call him. His name is Tinny. Hey, Tinny. You have a weapon. Use it. Take out the king. Become the king. He's after your girl, so, you know, what more motivation do you need than that? Ew, look at all that spit. Oh, matches, matches. Set him on fire. What's he made of? Do you think he's made of tin, or do you think he's made of wood? What's going on here? Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's see. Yes! Took my advice. That's a lot of fireworks. Oh. <laughs> this, this is, well... Had I known there were explosives, I may have encouraged not using fire. Ah, uh, nuts. He is made of wood, though. Didn't it look like the king was made of wood? We know he's made of tin just because of the title of the uh, cartoon. But if he's made of tin, just falling on the floor shouldn't have broke his leg off. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Now he's on trial. 
What do you mean not guilty? We saw you try to assassinate the king. I support the attempted assassination. That's Groucho, the judge. Give him a fair trial, and then we'll shoot him. Well, okay. Give him a fair trial, and then we'll shoot him. So is this actually a king? Does he have, you know, does he rule over all the toys? Or is he just a toy king? Does he come with any actual power? Oh boy. This is not where I thought this was going to go. Yeah, here's my boogers before I die. <laughs> Put that in your pocket. Nice. Spare him. Oh, I guess he is a king. I guess he does hold rule over the toys. Oh, this is actually happening. Just run away together. You guys can be happy without the rest of these obnoxious, jerky toys. Oh! Whoa! whoa no! Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, well that's sweet. I mean, they're dead, but that's still sweet that they melted together into a heart. Wow. What a dark turn of events. And then there there goes their little toy souls up into the heavens. To, to toy heaven. There's toy St. Peter at the gates. Did anyone else see this coming? Oh, now he has a ghost leg. There's your dead leg from before. Your leg died and was waiting for you at the gates. All right. Back in action. Here we go. But you're dead. I guess you guys get to go live happily ever after in Toy Hut. This is this is a weird, happy-ish ending. Oh yeah, no cats in heaven. No cats in Toy Heaven. All dogs go to heaven. That's why. They lived happily ever after. They didn't live happily ever after. They're dead. They died. They were executed by the king for seemingly no reason. Well, I mean. I mean, I guess, I guess Tinny did try to shoot him before, but you know what? The king had it coming. The king had it coming, and uh, I'm still kind of blown away that the ending of this was they died. They died, went to heaven to quote-unquote live happily ever after. Now, I guess there are worse ways to bring a cartoon to a close, but man, this was... This was a special kind of dark. Anyway, I liked it. I had fun. It was weird that the narration song just disappeared towards the end, but hey, what are you going to do? You know what you're going to do? You're going to tell a friend. I don't know, I botched it. Hey, thanks for being a friend and telling a friend.